Hi guys, today I show you how to build your own battery-driven electric tow bar so you don't have to push your plane by yourself anymore. How cool is that? So stay tuned. Hi guys, as you saw in the teaser, I'm building an electric driven tow bar because when I fly alone and I have to push back the plane by myself, it's a real pain in the ass. I was looking also into buying one commercial available, but they are really expensive, like over a thousand bucks. And uh, so I came up with this idea. I had some uh, inspiration from other projects, but all of them required welding and I can do that here. So this tow bar is only done with three bit and uh, three the printed uh, parts. I will put all the links down below. And uh, I used as a battery pack the one I already have for my tools. That's a Matika 18 volt battery. And some buttons, two relays, and the motor I got from eBay used. It's like a wheelchair motor. I got two for 60 bucks. And I also bought the tow bar new that was like 50 bucks something. I will put all the links down below. So let's get to it. So that's one of the two motors I bought. Uh, to be honest, I was uh, thinking they um, were much smaller, more like a uh, soda can, but it's more like a soda bottle. So they are quite heavy. I would guess, I don't know, three kilos, six pounds. And so they came with this mount here. And they're good for 12 to 24 uh, volts, uh, volt. All the purple parts are 3D printed. Here's a quick overview how the whole assemble looks like. This is the control box with the battery mount and also the two buttons for forward and backwards. First we need to remove the wheel mount. It's attached by a bolt to the motor. This can be really tough so I use the pipe to give me some leverage. I also clamped it down to prevent it from spinning. The mount was really stuck to the axis, so I used a wrench to remove it. The battery died in this shot, but you can see it in the next one. The next thing to do is drill holes into the tires. But this is a really smelly job, so I used a respirator and also some safety goggles. I would recommend doing this in the garage or outside if you have the option. It took hours to get rid of the smell in my apartment. I used the wheel mount as a guide to drill the holes.
Next we need to attach the tires to the wheel mount. I inserted long bolts into the mount. and then inserted them into the tires. Then I used some washers and screwed on the nuts loosely. Next I aligned both tires as parallel as possible and then fixated them with a clamp. And then I tightened all the nuts. And then I mounted everything back to the motor. Then I used a piece of threaded rod to mount everything onto the axis. Then I went outside and used my ankle grinder to cut the bolts to the correct size. I also cut some threads into the tire to have some more grip. I also recommend doing this outside because it smells really really bad. I removed the tires from the motor to finish the thread cutting. So stop for a minute. After I cutting the video, I saw how much trouble it is to work with the rubber tires. So I came up with uh, a new idea, a 3D printed uh, roll. So instead of having like this bulky uh, tire assembly, we now have only this one. It's also 3D printed and with 92% infill, so it's really heavy, about 350 grams. So it fits right here. And because of the smaller diameter, it should also give us a better torque on the front wheel of the, uh, of the plane's front wheel. So let's see how this works. I will post an update in the next video. And now we're putting everything together. First, you need both parts of the motor mount. I use the M5 screw with a washer and a nut.
Then I screwed in the M8 threaded rod to hold down the wheels. And also for the motor mount. They are both M8s. Then I attached the tow bar to the motor and secured both with a washer and an M8 nut. Then insert the reduction tube into the tires. And mount everything to the motor. Then I use the smaller one of the two spacers. And then mount the motor with a big hose clamp to the tow bar. Then I tried to use the second spacer, but it was too tight, so I had to loosen the hose cam a little bit to make it fit. Then I use the second hose clamp to mount this as well. At last I tightened the motor mount nut. In the next video you can see how I finished the tow bar. So subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, see you soon.